so the sun is going down we are at our rental on st john's river and we're going to be shrimping off the dock tonight i'm going to go ahead and bait up now so the bait has time to uh sit and attract the shrimp at nighttime the shrimp come from the deep and go into the shallower water like off this dock to feed and we're going to throw these um cattle cubes or hog pellets it's a like a feed you get at the feed store and that'll dissolve in the water and whatever is in it attracts a shrimp and they come eat it we're also going to use rock salt rock salt we throw it in there being that this is fresh fresh water and those are saltwater shrimp they're attracted to that salinity so when you put the rock salt in there it attracts them it also if you use too much of this it attracts a lot of catfish and the rock salt does not so we're gonna go ahead and start throwing out now. And obviously throw your bait in the area that you can reach with the cast net. I won't do all of this. That way later tonight I can go ahead and rebait. Um I like to give it 20, 30 minutes for the bait to start working. And this is a really cool shrimp dock. They even got PVC pipes on here. Um, and they got lights that's set up uh, to come out here and shrimp. So, this is so the net doesn't get stuck? Yeah, when you're pulling the net up, it doesn't, it slides over that PVC real good. Nice. And um, does not snag your net all up. So anyways, You'll see us in about an hour. Here we go. So, I put all my bait out right down here. Look at them already popping They're out already. of the net. And it's only about five feet here, so we won't have to wait a long time. Look at them just popping like crazy. But, the thing is, is you'll say, oh, your shrimp are getting away. This is a 5H8 mesh. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is epic shrimping, boys and girls. This is what we come for. Look at that. Look at the bag right there. There's probably 50 shrimp in that throw. Just absolute epic. Go free, little guy. Keep sweeping. Keep working. <laughs> You're doing great. Here, let me shrimp in the basket. Look at these. Oh my goodness, there's so many. <laughs> oh my gosh. That clip right there was. I must be the light. Also helps attract them. I don't know. The tide isn't even right right now. No. The bait. Because they were saying they don't they don't bait. And I was like, oh you gotta bait. And uh sure enough, it works. Watch this. They like something about it. This is one throw. One throw. Pile. St. John's Ooh, River White Trip. <gasps> Look at that, one throw. Perfect. He We're literally sweeping the floor with them. <laughs> On it. Nice throw, babe. Pancakes. Crystal just dropped a pancake. She's a lot better when I'm not videoing. Look at all the shrimp already popping out. That's how you know you're on them. Pull them up. Look at all those shrimp in there. See all them little red eyes? Good toss, babe. Good toss, there's probably 20 in that throw. So, what I did was, I baited from that end of the dock all the way down to that end of the dock. We let the bait soak for about 30 minutes and this is the outcome from throwing, you know, 
to each of the bait spots. What we're gonna do now is give it about 10, 15 more minutes, maybe throw some more rock salt out there, and uh, then we'll throw again. So this is what the rock salt looks like. Uh, I think they make it for like driveways and water softeners or something like that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some more out because I bought a 50 pound bag and just grab a handful and just like that. What would you say is better rock salt or bait? Mm, we put both out both. so it's hard to say. If I couldn't get fish meal this time. I like to get fish meal and I add flour and water and I make my own dough and I'll actually add rock salt into the dough and make my own bait patties. But uh, I wanted to show you guys that. I just couldn't get any fish meal. The shrimp were running and everywhere was out of it. All right, you watch out. He's gonna do another throw. Get in here, you scallywaggers. <laughs> oh, throw, babe. I just threw kind of in the corner there where nobody's thrown yet. Yeah. Look at all them shrimp. <laughs> Look at them all. <sighs> Just crazy amounts. One throw. Little channel cat. Them are actually the good ones to eat right there. That's a croaker. No, that's a saltwater fish. Hear him croaking? Crystal just dropped a pancake. We got Bianca on cleanup with her shrimp collecting. And look at these guys. Let me get out of the butt. Those are nice shrimp. Scoop them all. <laughs> Cleaning up. So, that's a limit. Check it out. Five gallons. We were only out here in, what, 20 minutes? Maybe. <laughs> if that... Let's go get these things in the cooler. Doing the work, heading up our shrimp at this point. Uh, this is our five gallon bucket, even after we gave our host uh, a couple dinners worth, but just show you real quick how I like to head them. I like to do it on my cleaning table. I have the pile there. And what I kind of do is I just slide them to me, pinch the head. I'll push the head away into my bucket or whatever and just keep moving like that. And if you're quick, you can go through them pretty fast. Um, you know, and then every once in a while, I just have to stop and move more of the pile towards me. Um, to me, this is the quick, quick, quickest method. Um, All right, guys. So we're back at home. Uh, it's Monday after our weekend out on the river. We're just going to do an easy weeknight meal for y'all. Um, blackened shrimp Alfredo. But first, I'm going to show you how I like to peel and devein them. If you buy one of these tools right here, 99 cents or something like that. They're super great. Take it, see that? Slide it underneath the shell, right along its back grip bone, and just keep pushing. And as you push, that meat will fold away. Shell stays with this, meat goes in there, already de-veined, just like that. So, I'll show you one more like that real quick. Come in, down the back, push them down, that shell separates, shrimp meat, shell. Now, 
if you don't have one of these handy dandy gadgets, I'll show you something I don't like as much, um, but will work. And everybody's got one of these, but basically the same concept. Take one tine of the fork, slide it down the backbone like that, push it all, shell stays with the fork, and the shrimp is cleaned into veins. Sometimes you gotta grab that vein and pull it out, but uh, one more time with the fork, right down the back like that. See, the fork just to me isn't quite as user-friendly, but will get the job done and is twice as fast as doing it by hand and then taking a paring knife and deveining each one. All right, so I am using jarred Alfredo sauce. Like I mentioned, it's Monday night. This is a Monday night meal, and this is honestly what we would eat whether or not YouTube existed, uh, I'm putting a meal together with what we had in the pantry. So I'm using that, but I am, I am warming it up and I'm adding some of my own Parmesan cheese in there, as well as a little piece of cream cheese, which will make that super rich and creamy stir that into there and let that cream cheese dissolve into the sauce all the way. We have our water set to boil. Once we get the pasta in, we'll blacken our shrimp. I'm using penne, mostly because it's what we had in the pantry. See you guys in a minute. So I've got my peeled and deveined shrimp here. We're gonna go in, uh, with some of Chef John's White's blackening seasoning. He doesn't actually sell this, people always ask me. Um, he made a small batch for friends and family and sent it to me, but if you uh, look him up, it's uh, Chef John White Outdoors on Instagram. He does a bunch of super cool stuff, and I think he does hog hunts and all kinds of really cool stuff like that. But definitely a cool guy to check out. Don't wanna skimp on your blackening. And once you got that in there all mixed in, we're gonna go in with about a stick of butter cause you know, why not? And make sure everything's coated up real good in there. Just like that. Rinse your hands off. And I've got a smoking hot cast iron skillet here. We'll go in and get some want well, to get those spread out real fast because they're going to release a lot of liquid and you want to try to get a nice little blackened crust on them. Spread them all like that. Let those go. My water's boiling. I'm going to do like, I don't know, a half a box of this penne. We can do leftovers tomorrow. That'll take about seven or eight minutes. And we got our sauce all ready back there, doctored up. And since I didn't stir them too much, then we're done. Got myself a nice little crust on there, nice blacking. That's the way you do smaller shrimp. Those are done. I'm gonna start pulling them out right now. Cut that heat off. Beautiful black and shrimp. But don't now, I'm still gonna use this cast iron here. Don't uh, clean that out. All that flavored butter is gonna go on our pasta in just a second here. Al dente pasta. And we got all that goodness in the pan from the blackening seasoning and the butter. Put that in there and kind of toss your pasta in it. Let it get some of that flavor 
just like that. Then we've got our doctored up Alfredo. Put some of that on there like that. And toss that around. Let it get all in those pennies and everything. I think that the spiciness of blackening seasoning and like the creamy richness of Alfredo were made for each other. And then lastly, we will take some of our beautiful blackened river shrimp and just put those over the top like that. And you cannot tell me that that is not going to be good. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed shrimping off a dock. Oh, no. <laughs> shrimping off a dock is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I don't always have a dock to do it off. So finding a rental that let us do it was super cool. Uh, and again, if you guys enjoy these, please subscribe, like, comment, share. It's going to help me keep making them and keep going. And just knowing that you guys are enjoy enjoying them helps me a lot. So, ooh, that's hot. I'm not going to pick it up for you. <laughs> See you on the next one.